Hello guys and welcome to another part of uh, tips and tricks for Unreal Engine 5. Uh, this time we are going to learn uh, how to create a top-down dust effect. Uh, it is uh, it is it is very simple. Uh, it doesn't have any any uh, any complicated uh, you know uh, material graph or anything. Uh, but it it needs a it needs some um, some basic nodes uh, to be created in Unreal. Uh, to to get the effect of uh, dust from the top, so if you look carefully here, uh, these these leaves already has uh, have uh, dust on top. So I'll show you what I mean when I select this material and just try to open it. Uh, I can actually keep this on the side, so you can actually clearly see what I'm talking about. So this is a material instance uh, I created. Uh, this one has uh, has controls on how much dust dust we need on the leaf. Uh, the contrast contrast means uh, means how how sharp the dust has to be between the leaf and uh, I mean the places where there is no dust and where the, where, where there is dust there's a it's a fine line. So how much uh, how much softness you need between them? Uh, the color of, the color of the dust um, then the then if you uh, need to use a dust texture or if you need to use just a dust color uh, then uh, you can adjust the uh, dust saturation then the brightness uh, how much it has a tile if you're using a texture for the albedo um, stuff like that so uh, what I mean by color is like I just turn off and on all the all the options and to show you how it can affect so this uh, does dust brightness uh, so this ray, sorry that is rare brightness so about the dust, uh, if you need to use a dust texture, te texture or not, it's a it's a checkbox. If you turn this off, it is now it's using just a color for the dust. So I can adjust the color. So it is kind of uh, reddish. If I use a red color, I can may maybe just kind of desert uh, location. Like it has kind of orange uh, colored dust on it. So this 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 looks like the dust is part of the leaf. So you can even use it as a as a as a color option. Like if you want this this plant to be really dry, you can you can add this color to uh, to it. So when I turn on this uh, use dust texture, now it's using a texture on it. So this so this if you if you look closely enough, you can see uh, that the, the texture is more obvious. So so how so how can I control these uh, the uh, these all these parameters? So that it does brightness. If I make it into one, you can see the brightness increases. Uh, then saturation. So if I make it like five, it gets like really really saturated, depending on what kind of texture you're 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 using here. So I'll keep saturation as one or maybe one point five, or even two. So like you can you can get some color for it. So this dust albedo, uh, I just used a just just uh, a, a texture I found on Mega Scans. You can use whatever texture you need. Uh, so the 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 thing I liked about this is like it has some some patterns in it which can be easily tiled across. So there's a tiling option as well. Dust tile. If you look closely enough, you can see it. So when I increase the tiling to maybe around five, you can see the dust is like the texture is getting tiled. When I use one by default, it it's very noisy. So if you don't want this kind of noise, you can increase the tiling. So it was two was the uh, setting I used earlier, and now you can adjust so many uh, things in it. With the brightness, uh, I already used to 0.5, so you can see the dust more clearly on the leaves. Now, if you don't want the dust at all in the in the in the material, turn this dust level or, uh, to to zero. So now, so now there is no dust. the The leaves are just using the just just using the leaf texture. So there is no no overlay on it. So another fun thing about this is like when I'm negative one, and if I move this, um, I'll, I'll 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 make a copy. So make a copy, and if you just rotate this leaf along along any axis you want, I I just turn on the angle snap. So when, I, so when I rotate it, the dust actually repositions itself based on 
uh, the axis. So dust always falls from uh, Z, Z axis downward. Uh, so that is how it is set. So when I turn this plant over like this, and when I bring it up, you can see the dust is on, on, the, on, the, on the bottom side of the plant. No, it is not. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> because I need to set it up that way. So, uh, so I'll be I'll, I'll be showing that in a in a in a different tutorial. So dust won't be on the back side. That's my bad. So if you look at this side, the like sideways, you can see dust is falling on top. So this is the uh, this is the most important feature of this uh, this shader. Uh, so it is always facing one axis. So let's see how it is done. So I'll just close this instance material and. I will start a new fresh material here. The content browser. I go to master materials. Uh, create a new new material. I'm going to name it uh, ft underscore veg underscore leaf underscore. I just name it zero two underscore m mat. So m mat stands for master material. So I just save it, and I'm going to open this master material. And I will start from the basics. So for the leaf material, just like the just like we learned in the in the previous tu 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 tutorial, it has to be surface. Then uh, keep it as masked and and shading model two sided foliage, and keep it two sided. That's pretty much it for the shader. Share the material. Now we will bring in the required textures. So go to content drawer textures I'm, I'm going to bring in all these uh, placeholder te uh, textures which, which will be used for the instance uh, one is color normal and ORM so ORM is occlusion roughness and metallicity so I will first connect these uh, into the all the all the channels just to uh, give us a start Mm, so this uh, amber occlusion, uh, green goes to roughness, and blue goes to metallic. So that is the start. Then we will just convert these into the parameters, and I will start naming uh, from the top, albedo. Then this is normal, and this last one is ORM. So I can just name it here for them. And with the albedo, uh, I just group it as textures. Give it priority one because that will be shown first. Then normal, I'll choose textures and it'll be priority will be two. Then ORM textures priority is three. So I'm getting all these uh, textures. Uh, then I need one more texture for the since since the leaf I need translucency. So change this alb albedo to translucency and connect this to subsurface color. So that is what uh, will make the light go through the leaf. Uh, and for this one I will move to textures and to give it priority four. So that's how it will be applied in the instance. So let's let's uh, let's uh, define the textures first. Then we'll come back and start modifying it. So right-click on this and create a material instance and name it as uh, underscore imat. So imat stands for material instance. I just drag this, drag and drop this to the materials folder. So it is here. Uh, leaf zero two. I'm at so right right here. So double click on this. So like it is it is it's opening in a separate window. Uh, now we will just uh, move all the textures here. Uh, so this is Swiss cheese 
So A means uh, albedo, uh, normal, we have over M, and this is the transistency. So get all the textures here and save it. There's a problem here because we forgot to connect opacity. So into is that master material, connect the uh, alpha to opacity mask and and save it. This time it should be should be fine. Let's have a look at it. So the texture is good now. Uh, so go to med, go to the scene. Now we will just change the uh, change material for these two because we are going to swap these materials with the one we are making right now. So go to this mesh uh, details panel and change this to um, leaf. Uh, it will be leaf zero two uh, I mat. Okay, which zero two I mat. Same thing here. Uh, wedge zero two, I meant. So now we have the we have the leaves like simple leaves without any any kind of effect in it. It's just just very simple leaves uh, without any. Uh, uh, we don't we don't even have the double sided material. The thing is, we are in the lit side of the map. So if we keep this plant behind this wall, then we are we will start getting the problems. But right here. Because there is direct sunlight on it, it, it looks good. Okay, now we'll save the map and save save everything. Okay, now we'll go and uh, start modifying our our master material to get the dust effect. So, so basically, we are going to apply dust on albedo as a mask. So first, uh, first we need to uh, tell tell Unreal. Where the, where the mask is. So for that, I am going to use a, a node called pixel normal world space. So what that does is, so first type pixel normal world space. So this is the node, node we need. So what it does is like if you, if you hold control and alt, it'll, it'll show you what it means. <coughs> so it is basically, um, uh, sampling uh, pixels that are facing a specific normal uh, direction. So this, so so what, so what that means is like this. This sphere has has normal all of, all over it. The normals that is facing, I mean the the normals on top of this uh, the sphere are facing upwards. The 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 normals that are at the bottom. Are facing downwards and on the sides are facing towards the side so for example like if you take this as the z-axis the normals that are on the top are facing normals towards I mean the towards this z-axis the ones on here are facing towards the x and x and y so if you can find a way to isolate the pixels at the top we can use them to generate the dust. Uh, so first of all, we need to generate a mask. So so that is why we are using this pixel normal world space. So with with this with just just with this pixel normal world space, uh, we need something to connect this to. So for that, I'm going to use a constant uh, constant three vector. So press numerical three on the keyboard and left click you get this uh, constant three vector or uh, right click and type constant so you can choose this constant three three vector it's, a, it's the same so this one has um, all the three colors like red green and blue nothing fancy so for this we need blue because if you look at this r r is like x green is uh, y and blue is z so we are going to give uh, one for the blue, and we are getting a blue blue color. Now we need to multiply these two. So press M, left click, and connect these two into the multiply node. Now what this means is, wherever there is like whenever there is a red red color, that'll be treated as treated as zero. 
and we get an output as zero. That is zero multiplied by the, the pixel normal is zero. So for green, it's the same same thing. So zero multiplied by uh, p, p, so, so, so normal is zero. And blue is wherever there's a uh, there's a there's a normal that is facing towards the towards the top that is facing towards the z axis. That'll be multiplied by one, and we get an output here. So only the top will be selected. So whatever comes comes out of this will be only blue, uh, only pixels that are facing up, facing the Z up direction. So now we need to isolate this blue. Now it's a mix of all three, right? So so we have zero for red, zero for green, and one for blue. So we have three values coming out here. Now we need to isolate just the blue color. So for that, we are using, using a component mask. Let's type component, component mask. So component mask, what this does is, this you can, yeah, you can specify which value you want this to pass from input to output. So we are going to pass B as blue. So connect this, multiply it to here. And now we are going to clamp the values between zero and one. So for that, I'm, I'm, I'm going to use a node called saturate. This is not the normal saturate uh, saturation which you find in Photoshop or um, Substance Designer. This is actually a, a, a clamp value. So it clamps the value between zero and one uh, by default. If you want to clamp between a value that is the, that is other than zero and one, like like for example, if you want to clamp between 0 0.5 and uh, and 2.5, you can use a clamp node. So a clamp node. Uh, you can specify uh, which values you want to clamp to. Like if I, if I, if I want 0 0.5 um, minimum and I want five as maximum, I can use clamp. But uh, but saturate uh, is uh, is clamping between zero and zero and one by default. So saturate. So now it's clamping. Now this this is the uh, dust generator. So I'll just name it as dusk. Sorry. Uh, dust generator. So this actually this generates a, 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 a dust mask. So it is not masked yet. So, so the output has to be connected to a, a linear interpolate. So what's the linear, linear interpolate? So it is also called as LERP. So LERP is uh, somewhat kind of uh, like almost similar to the blend node in substance uh, designer but <clears throat> but this is flipped so what i mean is uh right click on this and type linear interpolate get that one so love has an alpha value and a and b so think about it it like photoshop layers b on top and a at the bottom and an alpha is what decides um to be shown so so for example we have a a, a texture that has black and white values and we connect that to alpha and wherever there is white b will show wherever there is black a will show so so that is that is what lerp is doing here so we have a mask uh, from the dust generator and i'm connecting that to alpha and we need a color for the dust so for for that i'm going to use the same one here constant three vector uh, plus three and left click you get a constant three vector so i'm so i need to control this inside the material instance so what i can do is right click on this convert to parameter and this is like dust color so so black black is a problem because like when you like when you give uh, when you input black black to anything it will just output only black so just give it a white color by default and connect this to b because wherever that there is white in the alpha this dust has to show show through and below that will be the albedo albedo for the uh, asset and connect this to the base color now for this dust color, I'm 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 gonna I'm going to uh, move it into a group called dust, 
and give it uh, priority one. Now let's save it and let's see what uh, changes uh, we are going to see on the viewport. Now when I go to the view viewport, I can see uh, the sides that is facing up. All of them have turned white. So why is so where is the white coming from? So this white is coming from this uh, mask. So this sorry sorry this dust color. So so it is white by default right right now. So it is showing through a B. So we go to material instance. Then we got dust color. I just uh, bring this out so we can see it in the viewport directly. Uh, just uh, scale this up slightly. And when it, when I change the dust color here, you can see it will get updated in the, the viewport. So make it like uh, a little bit of red, reddish, darker, more. Yep. So that's the basic dust. So that gives you a um, nice, uh, you know, dust over the leaves, leaves wherever, wherever the leaf is facing towards the z-axis. So now what, what we need, what we need to, need, 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 need to do is uh, I need to adjust the uh, roughness on this. So, so how do we adjust the roughness? So when I go to uh, buffer visualization inside Unreal. So go to lit here, menu, buffer visualization, and go to roughness. You can see, uh, you can see this, um, it is, it is, it is not very rough. It is like, it is showing uh, as though it is very polished and smooth. So for the dust, for the, just for the dust, I'm, 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 I'm going to keep it close to white. So how will I do that? So go into the, mid, uh, the master material, uh, I will add these two into uh, the the dust control. So just make this a little, a little bit bigger. I include all these into one group, so I can just keep it more organized. Now I need to control the roughness. So where is roughness? Roughness is like here, so under ORM. So I can use the same same mask for for almost everything. So green is the roughness. Uh, what I'll do is I'll have a roughness control, so uh, I'll get constant one vector. So this is that is constant, and I'm going to right-click on this and convert to parameter, and I'm going to give it um, dust roughness. So I'll move this to group uh, dust. Uh, set priority. I'm not sure. I I, I just keep it as keep keep it at a default now we will change it later and this one has to be uh, default value has to be one if it is if it is black it will be too much of uh, glossiness will be there and now I'm going to multiply this uh, sorry not, not, not multiply I need to use um, a lerp so linear interpolate I'm uh, I'm going to mask it out uh, and just get this coming out of the sat saturation node and use, use it as, as, as alpha, same way we did here, but instead of color, we are going to use uh, dust roughness, uh, rough, roughness value, that's a sc scalar value. So connect to B and just get this green in, in green for A and connect the output for the LERP to roughness. So that's that will do. Uh, that will make the dust really, really. Uh, I mean, it won't. It won't make it rough, but you'll have control over how rough the dust ha has to be. Now save it. Now when you go back to the map, you can see that uh, see the roughness has has increased slightly, but I need to increase it more. So go to lit mode, and open the um, instance material. So reference, um, I'm gonna give it like two. So when I give it zero, you can see the dust is like getting really, really polished, right? It, it has had too much of glossiness, but I don't want that to happen. Now, if you, if you look in the debug view, 
uh, buffer utilization. If you go to roughness, you can see that it's, it's going to close to, close to black. So I will increase this to uh, two. Now dust is like really rough. Uh, and go back to lit mode. You will see a difference like when you have uh, like many lights in the scene. Like now I just have one sun. So it is not making much of a difference. Okay, now let's uh, let's 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 go to the next next step. So next step is uh, I need to adjust uh, the dust brightness. I need to ad uh, adjust the dust density, and I need to control um, what kind of texture I can use for the dust. So right now it is just a color. So let's first do um, a. Oh, what I was talking. So first, first, uh, first, first. Let's see how to increase the brightness, the dust, making uh, making the dust more brighter or darker. So that I can do with the dust color. So from the dust color, take this output, and uh, before you go into LERP, I need to bring in a, a, a constant. So press one and left click, right click, and convert to parameter. Uh, then this dust uh, brightness. So I just use a multiply node here. Dust brightness, move it into the dust uh, group. Give it a default value of one. Press M, left click, multiply. Uh, then then connect this dust brightness to A and dust call to B. So like th this will make it uh, brighter, dark or whatever. Then connect this to uh, lerp b now when you save it now when i go to the uh, scene get the instance material now we have dust brightness now it is one now when i keep it at at zero we can literally turn it off so so dust brightness can be can be used as a way to turn off dust if you don't want it or if you want really really uh, you know uh, if you get the value as like 0.25 you can have a little bit of dust but not too much now when i keep it like 5 dust is like glowing on the leaf you don't want that to happen so we should clamp it so dust brightness, uh, I I should set up uh, a I should set a maximum value. So if I make it like one, one is like like maximum dust. If I keep it at one point five, it's getting too too bright. So I need this to clamp at one. So go to master material. Uh, so this dust brightness. I'm I'm going to bring in a clamp value here. So just right click on and choose clamp. Because minimum value is uh, zero, maximum is maybe I can keep 1.1 just to make sure that it will be a little bit higher than uh, what I need. Uh, then this one goes to A and save it. So now the, the good thing about using clamp is, I'll just show you in a minute uh, here. In instance, like someone someone comes and like types in five, it won't it won't make any change because it's clamping at 1.1. So 1.1 is the maximum value here and zero is the minimum. So you can't go below zero because there's no negative value and the maximum value is 1.1. So I'll keep it at one for now, just for test purposes. Now we need to add uh, something to control the dust contrast. So the, by contrast, I mean, if you look here, this 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 leaf is a good example. So this actually this is very soft now. So dust is like uh, dust is falling on top of the leaves that are facing z z axis, but the yeah, but the but the softness is like is is like very like it is very soft. The transition from where there is no dust to where there is dust it is very soft. So I need to have a control on how much uh, softness is there for the transition. Let's move this to here. So now, now we need to now we need to adjust the uh, the bright the 
contracts for this mask output. So what I can do is I can use something called cheap contrast. So that is how it is called in Unreal. Cheap contrast. Bring it up. Then this is uh, the input it goes here. Then the contrast value is again another constant. So before I do this, uh, press Alt and hand left click so to to to, to delete a node. If that, then this is a short shortcut for moving a multiple uh, uh, connections to another node. So what I can do is press Control, hold it, and you you get a small uh, hand sign here. Just just click and drag and move it to the next one. So like it will show it will show an error because there is no no input connecting this. And I'll put this here. I have I I have an input. Now we need to, now we need to um, uh, have a control on how much contrast I need. So for that, I'm I'm again going to use a con constant node. So press one and left click, and convert to parameter uh, dust contrast. So this one I am keeping one as default value, and under group I'm using dust. And connect this to the contrast. So one is by default. Now save it. When you go to the scene, you can see there are like they like they like they there's 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 already a bit of contrast coming out of the mask. Uh, now how will I control it? Now go to your material instance. Dust contrast is one by default now when I keep it at 2 it's getting really sharp so look look at the mask uh, transition so now it is very sharp now keep it like around 5 it will be very sharp so now the dust, dust looks like it is, is like, like it's almost um, on a, a surface that is very rough so you can, you can actually control the amount of uh, amount of transition softness very easily. So I'll keep it at around 2 or 1.5. 1 is like very soft. So 2 is good. I can even clamp the value, but I'm not going to clamp it now because I like this one. Uh, okay. So for the next step, now, now we will see how to add a texture to it. You know, save, save the instance. I'm going to material, uh, the master material. Now I'm going to add a um, a control where I can uh, where I can specify I need to add an albedo or not for the dust, just for dust. So how I'll be doing it? So this te texture has to have a, a an option to choose if I need dust color or if I need to have a texture. So I can have a checkbox. Which, uh, which says use te a texture or no. So that is called a static uh, switch parameter. So there is static switch parameter. Select it and you can type dust albedo question mark. So that means if you do you want to use a dust albedo? Or do you want to use just just dust color? So this is a kind of choice. So true means yes, I want to use dust albedo. False means dust color. So so how will you choose it? So here is the dust color, including uh, the uh, multiply node that gives it a control for adjusting the brightness. So I'll just name this as dust color dust color and i'll have another texture i'll bring in the albedo placeholder control d is duplicate and bring it somewhere here and change the name to uh, dust albedo and again just change move the group to du uh, dust 
and sort priority is uh, one right now, but we can change it later. So how will this dust albedo, I mean, the switch work? Change the group to dust. Okay, so for this group, if, if it is albedo te a texture, this is on, true. If it is false, use the, use the color. So, so this is, uh, I can just group this as, as one. Be much easier. Bring this down slightly and bring this here. So like we can keep it well organized. So this is a, this, this is a choice. Dust albedo. Do you want to use dust albedo uh, texture? True means it will, it will, it will go into texture here. If it is false, it will take the color. And we need to connect this to the the dust um, lerp, lerp. Going to B. And now save it. Now going into the material. Right now, uh, uh, let me open this material instance. Now we have dust dust albedo. This is a checkbox. So this new one we got. If you check this on, it's going to show the color, the 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 blue texture color. That is that is what is being used in the master material. This one over here. So that is what is being shown here. So this this texture is like taken directly from this blue blue placeholder texture. So uh, turn this on. Now I downloaded say a, a texture from Mega Scans. That is this dust here. So it is just some concrete uh, texture uh, concrete texture with dust. Just drag and drop whatever texture you want into the slot. That will give you um, this texture for the the dust albedo. So right now the texture is kind of uh, too bright. So I need controls to adjust the brightness for this texture. So save it. Now go to master material. Then I'll just bring this here. Now the albedo is uh, dust albedo is right on top here. So what I can do is I can actually bring in some controls to adjust the brightness. For that again, constant vector, uh, convert that into a parameter, uh, name it like uh, dust albedo brightness. So default value is uh, one and choose group as dust. I'm going to multiply this. And connect this to um, the the switch parameter, and just save it. Now we have a now now we have another node between a dust albedo and the uh, the switch parameter. So this can this you can use to control uh, how bright or how dark this texture has to be. So so in the middle instance. Open the instance and just you have this dust brightness. Uh, change that to 0.5. So now you've got control on 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 how much brightness you want for the texture. Also, what I am uh, what I don't have here is uh, controlling the dust saturation. Dust usually will be more saturated, not like this. So I need control on that. So again, we can use the same thing uh, inside. The master material. So right before this brightness, I can bring in control for the saturation. How will I do that? So so saturation is basically done by using a node called desaturate. It is a bit uh, confusing because we need to saturate, not desaturate. But Unreal doesn't does not have um, exactly the same. I mean, exactly a node that does that. So the saturate node, as I explained before, is a clamp. So it clamps between zero and one. So we cannot use this for saturation. 
but what we can do is we can invert the value so i'm um, again I'm using a uh, using a constant node right click and convert to parameter and this is uh, saturation or you can say dust saturation uh, move this to group dust and and it's fraction uh, so this keep it at keep it at, keep it at uh, one by default connect this to the fraction and connect this to desaturate so the problem is we need another node here between uh, this constant and the fraction which has to be inverted so right click and press one minus so one minus one actually flips uh, flips this into uh, what we want so connect this to here and output to fraction and pretty much it that's it so connect this to multiply a so we get um, this albedo texture we are going to saturate it so so when we increase the value saturation it, it, it actually uh, inverts it that means desaturation inverted means saturation so this is actually saturation then actually it it connects to the saturation node go to multiply and we can adjust the uh, albedo brightness and that again out, outputs to the uh, the the switch so save it and going to the level now now it is the same same as before open material instance then we have another control called the saturation so right now we one is by default so i'm going to keep it at two you can see the color is getting um, better that's good so now what i need is to tile this texture so now the dust is like uh dust if you like if you go really close to it you can see uh, a kind of noisy pattern so i don't want that i will I, I should have control over how much noise it has to be so i can control the tiling so for doing that i'm again going to master material and before this So here I need to add the uh, a texture coordinate. Right click, texture coordinates node, and I need to control this. So again, constant vector uh, parameter um, dust albedo tiling. So keep tiling at uh, default value at one. Zero means it won't tile and it won't work and choose a group to dust and you need to multiply these two so press m left click uh, connect these two do a and b and connect this to the uvs so that way you can control how much tiling you need for the dust albedo so this is how it works so it it first you have the uv controls on dust albedo texture then you have dust albedo texture here then that goes to saturation then that goes to brightness then switch if you want the dust color or texture then that goes to the lerp so save it it's pretty straightforward now you get the control for tiling now it's tiling only once uh, go to the instance and you got dust albedo tiling if you change that to uh, two you can see the dust is getting uh, more tile tiled Yeah, save it. So that is pretty much it for the uh, for the dust um, on a on a leaf. You can use the same uh, same techniques for for applying dust on any any prop uh, that has a unique texture. So this will not work on tiled objects. It will work, but 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 it is. Uh, I still have to refine it. So this technique works on anything that is that is uh, that is unwrapped uh, 
uniquely unwrapped one to one uh, because tiling is like tiling tiling will go go beyond the the one to one uv space so right right now uh, it it doesn't work on uh, tiled objects but it works on uniquely unwrapped so so let, let me go into the play mode there's another the other side I just come out to the um, side where i have the leaves here so you can see the leaves are like really they are huge but <laughs> sorry about that the 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 scale is not not, not right but you can see the the dust really gives a, a, a nice impression of, of how it has to be in the real world. So yeah, so one thing we are one thing we don't have here is uh, is is wind. So to bring in the wind, first of all, you need to have this um, this wind actor. I mean this wind uh, this wind control. It is called a wind di directional source so once you have it in the uh, master material in the m mat uh, you have something called world position offset so 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 you can you can make the leaves move by using a speed tree node you right click speed tree but but the vegetation vegetation has to be made in speed tree that's only a condition. Connect this to world position, uh, position offset and the speed tree node. Change this geometry type to leaf. Uh, wind type to best plus is the best wind ever. Energy type is pop. That is fine. Now save it. Now when you go back to the world, you will see the leaves will be moving in wind. There you go. So you have wind animation you have dust on it uh, and plus other properties for the leaf material thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel you can also post any uh, any comment uh, like if you have any questions uh, please post in, uh, them in the them in the comments uh, i will try to answer them thanks for watching guys bye